Hello everyone, I'm Jacob, a software engineer, and welcome back to the channel. Have you ever tried to scroll a page and everything just froze? It isn't just annoying for users, it's a clear sign of a high total blocking time, or TBT. TBT measures the total time between first contentful paint and time to interactive, during which the main thread is blocked, preventing any user input responsiveness. It's a critical metric and high TBT can severely impact your user experience and even your search engine rankings. Today we're going to tackle this challenge head-on by harnessing the power of web workers. I show you how to move those intensive computations to a separate thread, freeing your main thread and reducing total blocking time. Let's dive in. We are going to focus on the Suspenseful Shop, an application that we presented during one of our webinars. And I added the section that generates discount code for us on the client side. And when I refresh the page, you may notice that it actually takes some time before uh, this code appears. That's because uh, generate discount code is a synchronous function and it simulates, for example, processing huge amount of the data or sending some analytics uh, wherever, but main thread is completely blocked and the page becomes uninteractive. So for example, when I refresh the page again and I'm clicking shop now, we will only get redirect after this code appears. Let me do it again. I'm clicking and redirect uh, is only after this code appears. We can also run the lighthouse test for an actual number. So let's run an audit. As you can see, after the page loads, it's completely blocked for almost one second, which is terrible for user experience. And I'm going to show you how we can fix it using web workers. Web workers allows us to run JavaScript in the background threads, separate from the main execution thread. This is perfect for long CPU intensive tasks. Let's take a look at the worker implementation. It listens for messages processes code generation and then sends the results back. Also process discount function uh, still simulates some long task and then return random UAD. The second step is to set up the worker. So first uh, we need to create a new instance of the worker with the correct path. Then we need to handle message and an error. Also we need a function to actually send uh, the message to the worker and of course when the component unmounts uh, the worker needs to be terminated. And finally we can use this hook in our app so we can replace use state with use worker hook and also it returns uh, run and result. Use effects should only include uh, calling this run function and also we can replace this with result. Okay. Now when we refresh the page, at first you may think that nothing has changed. But let me click this button uh, before uh, this code appears. As you can see, we get redirect instantly, which means all of the events are handled by the browser. So the main thread is not blocked. I can prove it to you by running Lighthouse again. As you can see, our total, total blocking time is only zero millisecond now. So it's actually 100% of improvement. We can also offload third-party scripts uh, to a web worker and by using um, script uh, component uh, from Next.js and it uses party town uh, in a background, but it's still experimental feature and it's not stable yet. So use it carefully. Um, What's more, it's not yet available uh, for an app router. So that's it. We've identified TBT root causes and implemented a solution, web workers. If you are ready to optimize other aspects of your Next.js performance, from initial load to continuous interaction, grab a copy of our ebook, The Expert Guide to Next.js Performance Optimization. You'll find a link in the description. Thank you for watching. 
Don't forget to subscribe this channel, stay tuned and see you in the next one.